what's up guys i'm sorry about the lighting situation i'm sorry about a lot of things actually i said i would be making videos more often i'm trying to do that but this little man that i call my son is like my glue and he's always 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 with me just kind of hard to like set aside time where i just record so he's in the back and if, and hopefully you don't end up hearing him over what i'm trying to say today i'm going to be giving you the five most common reasons why you might not be losing weight even though you're trying whether you're doing dieting or some form of exercising and you're not seeing the results that you want to see i'm going to give you a few tips on what might be stopping you and things that you can consider changing up i'll try to get straight to the point because i know i normally end up taking way too long and then i'm editing and i feel like i just go overboard i talk too much sometimes please subscribe and like this video before we get started Cheese. Okay, baby, mama's gonna record. Okay, good job. I just wanted to address like five major things that I think make a huge difference in helping you lose weight. And even though now they seem kind of like obvious or common sense to me, they were things that I didn't necessarily start to do until more recently. So the first thing that can be holding you back from losing weight is that you're eating more than you realize and you're not in a calorie deficit. Now, you may not even know that you need to be in a calorie deficit. You're just trying to like cut back on certain things, but even then what you're eating can still be too much to put yourself in a calorie deficit and start to lose weight. So when it comes to weight loss, there's this idea or this model about calories in versus calories out, which basically is the idea that if you want to maintain a stable weight, then the amount of calories that you take in should match the amount of calories that you're expending or calories that are coming out. Now, obviously, like I said, that's if you wanted to maintain the weight that you're at. But if you were trying to lose weight, then you would need to be in a calorie deficit. Once your body's energy needs are met, then extra calories are basically just stored for future use. Some are stored in your muscles as glycogen, but the rest are just basically for the most part stored as fat. So if you're eating more calories than you burn, you're going to gain weight, sorry. You'd be surprised at how many extra calories you're eating. It is so, so easy to, depending on what you're eating obviously, to rack up those calories really quickly and be intaking a lot of calories. If you want, you can try tracking your caloric intake for like a week and just see how much you're actually eating. There are a number of fitness apps that you can use to plug in your information and it'll help you find a suitable amount of calories for you to try to lose weight. How many calories you're going to need is going to depend on a number of factors. So for some people, counting calories and making sure that they're in a calorie deficit is like all they need to do and they'll lose weight. Um, some people obviously can lose weight without exercise and just are really good at managing their diet. They've got it all down and that works for them. But if you haven't even really got that part down and you're still overeating, like you're still consuming too many calories for your goals and your particular body type and all that good stuff, then you're not going to see a difference in how much you weigh. Now that sounds really simple, right? Like all you would need to do is calculate how many calories would put you in a calorie deficit and make sure you don't go over that. And then like, oh my gosh, she's just dropping the blinds. And then naturally you would watch the pounds fall off, right? Well, I think that cal that is an oversimplification. There are so many more factors that go into trying to lose weight. Well, the calories in versus calories out model does matter for weight loss. Not all calories are created equal when it comes to being healthy and like actually getting fit, which brings me to my next point. Another major reason that you could not be losing weight is because you're not being mindful of the food choices that you're making. You could be counting calories and still not losing weight because you're just putting the wrong things into your body. That's because the different foods that you eat have different effects on different processes in your body, regardless of how many calories the food you're eating contains. So don't be fooled into thinking that it doesn't matter what kind of food your calories are coming from. Naturally, your body is going to respond differently to processing foods that are, that are fatter, fried, processed, or sh have sugar added to them than eating more natural, healthy, whole foods. If you're eating a thousand calories of junk or processed food, your body's not going to respond the same as if you were eating a thousand calories worth of natural whole foods. 
For example, if you were to eat a 200 calorie piece of chocolate cake, those calories would be absorbed differently compared to eating 200 calories of nuts. Also, when you're eating processed foods or just things that are not very nutritious for your body, your body is going to go through like highs and lows of energy. It's definitely going to affect your mood and just how you feel about changing your diet overall. And that's probably just going to discourage you because it really does matter what you're eating, not just how many calories you're consuming. Highly processed foods are also usually super low in fiber, which can lead to gut issues like bloating and stomach pain. I've gotten to a point where I'm mostly good for the most part like I make a lot better choices than I have before and now when I eat certain things that I know are processed or aren't really nutritious to me at all I definitely tell how I feel different after like my stomach will hurt after I've eaten I've eaten things like hot Cheetos or chips or just just like a fast food meal whenever I'm like whenever I'm letting myself indulge I feel different after like I'll usually either get a stomach ache or I won't poop for a while. I know it's TMI. But your body really does know the difference between the nutritious things that you intake and the processed stuff that it's a little bit harder for it to digest and actually absorb any nutrients from. Speaking of digestion and pooping, this leads me to my third thing that I think can be holding you back from losing weight, something that I also wasn't implementing at first because it's just kind of hard to keep up with yeah you need to make sure that you are drinking enough water 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 is so 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 important to your body it plays a role in some of your critical bodily functions such as digestion circulation creating saliva absorbing and transporting nutrients from food and maintaining a normal body temperature there are so 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 many benefits to not only drinking as much water as you should be a day but also pushing yourself to drink a little bit more than you even need if you look up how much water you should be consuming a day you will find that it's really easy to calculate based on your body weight how much is an appropriate amount and then add to that a little bit more and it could actually aid you a little bit in weight loss. So for me, I try to drink more than I even really probably need a day just because one, I have switched to pretty much drinking water during every meal. Unless I'm going out and having like a mixed drink, um, a cocktail, whatever you want to call it. If I'm having alcohol, then I'm definitely drinking water too. I'm not getting a soda, I'm not getting juice or a lemonade or a tea because those are all extra calories aside from obviously the alcoholic beverage that I typically have. Those are extra calories that you really do not need. Like I said before, those calories are going to add up super, super fast. Switching to drinking water for most of your meals will help you immensely in cutting down on calories. Not only because you're going to drink it during your meals to wash down your food, but if you drink it before you eat and between your meals, let me tell you, it's going to help you to stay fuller and have that feeling of like fullness in your stomach whenever you're thinking of like reaching for a snack or thinking that you're hungry try drinking some water i read somewhere online that a lot of times when we think we're hungry our body just really needs water we're thirsty we might be dehydrated i've tried to keep those little things in mind as i've tried to change the way i eat and snack because i feel like those little things are making a world of difference for me so yeah one major way that i have managed to avoid like over snacking or just overeating at my meal time just trying to fill those gaps in with water and seeing how i feel after water helps you feel fuller for longer without adding any additional calories which is perfect if your goal is weight loss what the fourth reason that you might not be losing weight is that you're not combining diet and exercise Yes, you could probably achieve weight loss by doing one or the other only. You could change your diet pretty drastically and manage to lose weight. But the two of them combined is honestly going to give you quicker results. And honestly, they kind of just go hand in hand. If you're already leading a healthier lifestyle by making better food choices consistently, I honestly feel like trying to do both dieting or eating better and exercising 
most days of the week is what helps me kind of stay accountable and continue going. I feel like when I know that I've been eating pretty well for the most part, I want to give myself that extra push or that extra boost and make sure I get some sort of exercise in to make sure that I'm in a calorie deficit and just to feel more physically fit overall. Also, if I know that I'm working out, and I'm taking the time out of my day to go do exercise, then I'm also less inclined to eat a bunch of crap because that makes me feel like I worked out for nothing. I don't know, it's just kind of a way to keep myself mentally in check, knowing that I'm doing both for the most part. No, I don't eat well every single day and I don't exercise every single day. There are days where I naturally want to have you know, like the things that I enjoy in moderation and there are days where I just can't seem to get an exercise in because there's too much going on and I don't want to like stress myself out over not getting that exercise in. But yeah, overall I've been pretty freaking good. So the fifth reason that you might not be losing weight is that you have hit a plateau. So if you've already lost some weight, and you're still doing the same things that helped you lose the weight to begin with, your body could have just adjusted and it may be time for you to switch things up, whether it be in your diet or in your exercise routine. Now, if you're already eating a super low calorie diet and it wouldn't be safe for you to like change up your diet much more, then you can focus on trying to incorporate different exercises. If you haven't already started doing cardio, then mix that up with your strength training and just push your body i'm not saying do things that are unnatural or dangerous but your body is a lot smarter than we give it credit for now, obviously i'm not a dietitian and i'm no fitness expert but there is so 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 much helpful information online about our basic anatomy how our bodies are wired and why it functions the way it does. We're in 2020, man. Like there is so much research that has been done on why certain things help you lose weight or build muscle or gain weight if that's your goal. And I'm just here to summarize some of the bigger things that we may overlook in terms of how our body functions and and what might be holding us back from losing those pounds we're trying to lose. I know for me, originally I was so focused on losing weight fast and I did. If you take these approaches and you're doing crash diets or just working out super hard and you lose the weight quickly, it is also very easy to gain it back if you go straight back to what you were doing before. But I think the things I've talked about today are just all a part of living a more consistently healthy lifestyle. I am by no means perfect. I'm pretty disciplined, I'll give myself that. I mess up a lot too like all the time if you follow me on social media you would see the things i eat that i shouldn't be eating you know, i still like can't keep away from alcohol completely i drink alcohol several times a week but i really do try my best to find a balance and i've just become so much more conscious about